Hey everybody, this is Andre here with the Kevin Breeze channel, and in this video, we're going to be doing a comparison between the Cricut Influence and the Samsung Galaxy A01. To get more info on the pricing and availability of the devices, definitely check the link in the description, and to learn more about the phones themselves, be sure to watch the full videos of the phones on the channel. Let's get started. So the Cricut Influence has a 6.2 inch LCD display with a resolution of 720p, a PPI of 271, and an aspect ratio of 19 by 9. We got a water drop here for the front facing camera, and this camera is 5 megapixels. The Samsung Galaxy A01 has a 5.7 inch PLS LCD display with a resolution of 720p, a PPI of 301, an aspect ratio of 19 by 9, and a screen to body ratio of 75.1%. The front facing camera here is also a water drop notch and this camera is also 5 megapixels. So really aesthetically, these phones do look almost the same except the Cricut Influence is clearly bigger and the bezels are a tiny bit thinner as well. I would say the Cricut Influence just looks a little bit better due to the thinner bezels and for practicality, the larger screen is great for content consumption. So I would say display wise, the Cricut Influence does have an advantage here. There's a slight difference in the quality of the display. With the Samsung Galaxy A01 having a slightly higher PPI, the quality in theory is going to be a little bit better on the Samsung Galaxy A01, but I don't really see that much of a difference. So it's more or less going to be about the same. I would say the more important advantage is that the Cricut Influence has a much bigger screen. Now the Cricut Influence has 32 gigabytes of internal storage with micro SD card expansion. And the Samsung Galaxy A01 has 16 gigabytes of internal storage with micro SD card expansion. This is definitely a significant difference, especially at such a low level. In my opinion, 32 gigabytes isn't really all that great, but 16 seems just unusable. With apps and system memory getting bigger and bigger as time goes on, more space is always better, and 16 is just so small. With double the space on the Cricut Influence, you're going to get a lot more space for things like apps, photos, videos. The micro SD card expansion, of course, will help. But in the case of the Samsung Galaxy A01, you're going to be out of luck when it comes to apps because you can't run apps from a micro SD card. So overall, the Cricut Influence with double the amount of storage and the same ability to use a micro SD card, I would say this phone does have the advantage. Now, neither of these phones have wireless charging, but each phone has one alternative way to unlock the phone without a pin or a password. So the Cricut Influence has a fingerprint scanner, and the Samsung Galaxy A01 has face unlock. Neither of these has both, unfortunately, so it really comes down to which one you prefer. The fingerprint scanner for the Cricut Influence is right here on the back. I honestly do think a fingerprint scanner is a little bit more practical than face unlock because there are lots of situations where face unlock just doesn't really work out. Whereas with a fingerprint scanner, you can even unlock the phone while you're taking it out of your pocket. It's a lot faster and more convenient. We're gonna test out this fingerprint scanner and see how it works. One more time. So it's really fast and responsive. And honestly, I do think that pretty much any phone should at least have a fingerprint scanner. It is nice that the Samsung Galaxy A01 does have face unlock, but I do wish that it had a fingerprint scanner too. It's always nice when the phones have both options, but if I had to choose, I would personally choose a fingerprint scanner over face unlock, but that is up to your personal preference because each phone does have one of them, which is still better than none. And a lot of these entry level phones don't have either of them. So the fact that the Cricut Influence at least has a fingerprint scanner and that the Samsung Galaxy A01 at least has face unlock is still a positive for both of them. Now taking a look at the camera setups on the back of these phones, the Cricut Influence has a 13 megapixel rear camera and a 5 megapixel depth sensing camera. And the Samsung Galaxy A01 has a 13 megapixel rear camera as well and also a 5 megapixel depth sensing camera. So these phones feature wise have the same cameras. So these pictures were taken with the rear cameras of each phone. This picture taken with the Cricut Influence's rear camera is pretty decent. Although I would say the quality and sharpness does leave a bit to be desired. 
The colors are okay, but not really as good as they could be. So while I do think the camera is acceptable for casual use, like something like Snapchat, where the quality isn't really that important, would be okay. But if you're trying to use photos for more serious purposes, like social media, I don't know that I would really want to use this camera for it. The Samsung Galaxy A01, on the other hand, does have a little bit better of an image. It's not quite as bright as the picture taken by the Cricut Influence, but the quality is a lot better. The details are more vivid and sharp and the colors look better too. These pictures were taken by the front facing camera of each phone. Again, I do think the Samsung Galaxy A01 is a little bit better. Now, I don't think either of these cameras are that great for more serious purposes. Again, like social media, I personally, being someone who really cares a lot about quality, wouldn't use this camera for that kind of thing. But if you're doing something where quality isn't too important, then these cameras are usable. I just don't think they are quite the best, especially when compared to something a little bit of a step up for that. So definitely don't expect high performance quality, especially from the front facing cameras or the rear for that matter. But in general, the Samsung Galaxy A01 does have a better camera. Now with videos, this is pretty much the same. Both of these phones are able to shoot in qualities up to 1080p. In the video for the Samsung Galaxy A01 is most likely going to be a tiny bit better since the camera is already. Now the Cricut Influence is getting 3GB of RAM with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 460 processor. And the Samsung Galaxy A01 is getting 2GB of RAM with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 439 processor. We ran Geekbench 5 benchmark tests on these phones and the Cricut Influence came back with a single core score of 250 and a multi-core score of 1277. And the Samsung Galaxy A01 came back with a single core score of 150 and a multi-core score of 539. So there's a huge difference here. The Samsung Galaxy A01 won't have near the processing power of the Cricut Influence. So if you're doing really anything above basic activities, anything that involves a considerable amount of processing power, the Cricut Influence will be able to run any activities you do a lot faster. Now, both of these phones do have pretty small batteries. The Cricut Influence has a 3300 milliamp hour battery and the Samsung Galaxy A01 has a 3000 milliamp hour battery. Now, this is really not a huge difference. Just know that both batteries are on the smaller side, although they are still decently usable. The Cricut Influence might get a little bit more life per charge and a little bit more longevity, but in general, both of them have a really comparable, really similar and equally small battery. Now in conclusion, which one of these phones is better? In everything except the camera, the Cricut Influence is gonna be the better device. Not only does it have a much larger display, but it also has double the internal storage of the Samsung Galaxy A01. In addition to that, it also has a much more powerful processor. This difference is so significant that the Cricut Influence processor wise is in a different level from the Samsung Galaxy A01, even though the phones are in the same price range. And the Cricut Influence does have a slightly better battery. On the other hand, the Samsung Galaxy A01 does have a better camera in pretty much every way. So that is something to keep in mind. But that being said, the camera on the Samsung Galaxy A01 really still isn't anything special. I don't know that you would want to use it for professional purposes or anything like that. So I don't know how much of a difference that's going to really make in the decision between these two devices. If you do want a really good camera, I would personally go up to something like the Motorola Moto G Power or even a Samsung Galaxy A51, something on a higher level than a Samsung Galaxy A01 if you really are concerned with the camera. I don't think it's worth giving up half your storage space or so much processing power. I do think that in pretty much every situation, the Cricut Influence is gonna be the better device, especially considering these phones are in the same price range, so you're most likely not gonna be saving any money by going with the Samsung Galaxy A01 either. In fact, there is a pretty good chance that it's gonna be the opposite. That being said, if you do want more information about pricing and availability, be sure to check the link in the description because pricing and availability is always changing. And again, if you wanna learn more about the individual devices themselves, be sure to watch the full review of the phones on the channel. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.